This video is made in collaboration with Narutopedia. For more information, check the link in the description. The Life of the Nine-Tailed Demon Fox from Naruto Kurama, more commonly known as the Nine Tails, is one of the Nine-Tailed Beasts. Centuries of being regarded as a mindless monster and being sought after as a tool for war cause Kurama to hate humans. After being sealed into Naruto Uzumaki, Kurama attempts to maintain its cynical perspective about the world. But with Naruto's insistence on treating it with respect, the fox overturns its hatred and willingly strives to use its power for the world's salvation. Welcome to the Amagi. In today's video, we are going over the life of Kurama. Before we begin, we publish a new video every day, so make sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Early Life Kurama and the Tailed Beasts first came into being in the waning days of Hagoromo Otsutsuki, who used his creation of all things technique to divide the Ten Tails Chakra into nine separate bodies and giving each a name. Sometime after being created, the Sage explained to the Young Tailed Beasts that a link existed between them despite their separation. He also foretold of a day that they would be brought together again, though not as they were, and that at that time someone would emerge to show them what true power is. In the anime before his death, Hagoromo sent Kurama to live in a temple built for the purpose of protecting it in a forest region with mountains that would later become part of the Land of Fire. Over time, Kurama gained a fearsome reputation as a natural disaster that can desolate areas where the darkest aspects of human nature collect and fester. During the time of the founding of the Shinobi Villages, the Gold and Silver Brothers of Kumogakure were assigned to capture Kurama, but were both swallowed whole by the fox. However, the two brothers survived and gained some of its power by eating the flesh of its stomach for two weeks, forcing Kurama to regurgitate them. After Madara Uchiha's defection from Konohagakure, he found Kurama and used his Sharingan to control it, forcing the fox to help him against Hashirama Senju, the first Hokage. The epic battle left a colossal scar in the earth that would come to be called the Valley of the End. After his victory over Madara, Hashirama's wife Mito Uzumaki sealed the fox within herself, becoming its first Jinchuriki. Over the period of time, which included the first two Shinobi World Wars, Mito kept Kurama at bay, except when the seal nearly broke when she was going through childbirth. Towards the final years of her life, Mito passed on this status and responsibility to another member of her clan, Kushina Uzumaki, who later became the wife of Minato Namikaze, the fourth Hokage. Although Kushina was terrified with the responsibility of containing Kurama, Mito assured her successor that the fox's hatred was powerless against her love. Soon after the end of the Third Shinobi World War, the Third Hokage made special arrangements for Minato to ensure that Kurama would remain sealed inside Kushina while she gave birth to Naruto on the night of October 10th. However, despite keeping the childbirth a secret, a masked man named Tobi tracked down their location, killed their escorts, and held Naruto hostage, forcing Minato to quickly rescue him and teleport him to safety. Right after Tobi captured Kushina, he extracted and seized control of Kurama, and tried to have the fox kill its barely surviving Jinchuriki, but Minato made it in time to save her. Soon afterwards, the masked man summoned Kurama into Konoha and ordered it to destroy the village. While Kurama was rampaging in the village, Minato fought against Tobi and soon managed to place a contract seal on him, which freed the fox from his control. Despite that, Kurama still harbored resentment against Konoha for sealing it away and continued decimating the shinobi forces that tried to repel it. As it prepared a tailed beast ball, Minato summoned Gamabunta on top of the fox and quickly teleported it to Kashina and Naruto's location, letting its tailed beast ball detonate away from the village. Already dying from the extraction, Kushina used her remaining strength to restrain Kurama, planning to seal the fox back inside her so it would die with her. However, knowing that Kurama would revive without a host, and how great a threat Tobi was, Minato instead came up with the plan to give his son the means to combat the masked man in the future. Because Kurama's chakra was too immense to be sealed within an infant, Minato first used the dead demon consuming seal to separate and seal its yin half within himself, and then prepared the eight trigram seal to imprison the yang half within Naruto. Realizing what they were planning, Kurama attempted to kill Naruto, but both of the parents used themselves as shields and completed the sealing. Later, upon awakening within Naruto's subconscious and learning the reason behind Minato's intention, Yang Kurama, though frustrated of being sealed again, decided to wait for the time to come when it would influence Naruto as much as it could to use the power to break the seal. 
Throughout the years, Kurama weakened the seal through the cracks of its formation by constantly leaking out small portions of its chakra, which had positive side effects on Naruto such as amplifying his naturally large chakra reserves and healing ability, being able to heal from minor wounds within seconds to major injuries within a day. In the anime, it was revealed that Kurama had left behind large amounts of its own chakra during the attack. Kazuma collected and sealed the chakra within his own son, Sora, hoping to make use of its power for his own agenda. Prologue, Land of Waves Naruto first made use of the Ninetales chakra during his battle with Haku. Believing Haku to have killed Sasuke, Naruto gave in to his anger and entered his initial Jinchuriki form in order to defeat Haku. The Ninetales expressed great delight at Naruto finally making use of its power. Chunin Exams During the second stage of the Chunin Exams, the Ninetales chakra emerged again while Naruto battled a disguised Orochimaru in the Forest of Death. Although Naruto's strength abilities increased, Orochimaru recognized the Ninetales' power and counted it with the Five Element Seal. This seal blocked Naruto's access to the Fox's chakra and rendered him unconscious. Jiraiya, who the Ninetales quickly recognized as the fourth Hokage's teacher, later appeared and removed Orochimaru's seal. Jiraiya explained to Naruto that he possessed two types of chakra. Naruto didn't realize that he was talking about the Ninetales until he was taught to take advantage of it. In order to induce Naruto to use the fox's chakra, Jiraiya pushed him off a cliff. In a desperate act to save his own life, Naruto entered his subconscious and met with the Ninetales for the first time. Although the Ninetales initially terrified its Jinchuriki by revealing its strong desire to kill and devour him, Naruto boldly demanded the fox to give him his chakra as a form of rent money for living in his body. Realizing that his death would result in its own, the Ninetales complied, giving Naruto enough chakra to summon Gamabunta. Delighted that Naruto finally became consciously aware of its presence, the Ninetales became convinced that it could influence Naruto even more to use its power. The Ninetales kept quiet until Naruto faced Neji Hyuga in the first match of the final rounds of the Chunin exams. After Neji used his 8 trigram 64 palms technique to block Naruto's chakra points, Naruto called upon the Ninetales for assistance. Without hesitating, it gave its Jinchuriki enough chakra to force its chakra points open and defeat Neji. Konoha Crush during the climax of Naruto's fight against Gara, the Ninetales gave some of its chakra to Naruto, leading him to defeating Shukaku's Jinchuriki. Search for Tsunade While on his search for Tsunade with Jiraiya, Naruto was confronted by Itachi Uchiha and Kisame Hoshigaki of Akatsuki. Naruto tried to use the Ninetales chakra to help him fight against them, but Kisame quickly used his Samehata sword to absorb it all and attempted to cut off Naruto's arms. Luckily, Jiraiya arrived in time to block Kisame's attack with his Toad Summon and was able to force both Akatsuki members to retreat. Later, before Naruto deafened Kabuto Yakushi with a completed Rasengan, Kabuto severed Naruto's heart muscles and his neighboring chakra system, to which the Ninetales was unable to heal its host. While Tsunade desperately tried to save Naruto, the Ninetales noticed that its power was fading as its surroundings grew darker and darker. It, like Naruto, had a near-death experience, something it was slow to recognize. Fortunately, Naruto and the Ninetales were able to survive this encounter through the help of Tsunade and her medical ninjutsu. Sasuke Recovery Mission During the first stage of Naruto's battle with Sasuke at the Valley of the End, Sasuke, in his first level of the Cursed Seal of Heaven, pierced a fatal wound in Naruto's right shoulder with his Chidori. Fortunately, the Ninetales quickly gave Naruto enough chakra to heal his large wound almost instantly and entered his initial Jinchuriki form. With this, Naruto was able to overwhelm Sasuke with his immense speed. However, as the fight continued, Sasuke was able to predict and overcome Naruto's attack with his then fully matured Sharingan. The Ninetales berated the unconscious Naruto for being too weak and gave him more of his usual chakra to attain the one-tailed form, something the fox indicated that he should be grateful for. Interlude during Naruto's three-year training under Jiraiya, the Sanin began training Naruto to gain better control of the Ninetales chakra, soon helping Naruto to master wielding the chakra cloak up the two tails. Feeling he was ready to take it to the next level, Jiraiya had Gerotora tweak the seal enough for additional chakra to be unleashed. However, the Ninetales took advantage of this and began mocking Naruto for his failure to save Sasuke, able to use Naruto's negative emotions to overwhelm him with additional chakra. This ultimately caused Naruto to slip into a four-tailed version 2 state, which allowed the Ninetales to go on a rampage in Naruto's body. Jiraiya was narrowly able to reseal the fox's chakra, to which his passive methods of saving Naruto led to Jiraiya being severely injured. Kazakage Rescue Mission During the conclusion of his battle against the Akatsuki member Deidara, which turned out to be a clay clone, Naruto slipped into his two-tail form out of anger about Gara's death. Immediately, Kakashi placed Jiraiya's special seal tag on Naruto's forehead, restoring him back to normal. 
Tenchi Bridge Reconnaissance Mission When his three-tailed form was proven insufficient in his fight with Orochimaru, Naruto gave in to the Ninetales and entered his four-tailed form. The Ninetales took control of his senses and began to attack everything that was around him, including both Orochimaru and Sakura Harano. After its influence was suppressed by Yamato, he told Naruto that he was the cause of Sakura's injury, which greatly shocked Naruto and he resolved not to rely on the Ninetales' power again. Soon afterwards, when Naruto encountered Sasuke again for the first time in almost three years, the Ninetales began to offer Naruto its chakra, but he firmly rejected its assistance. The fox became contemptuous at Naruto, mocking him and saying that if it wasn't for its power, he would be nothing. It then tempted Naruto to break the seal so it could grant him all of its power, but he still refused. However, before their quarrel could escalate any further, Sasuke, with his active Sharingan, suddenly appeared within Naruto's subconscious, which surprised both Naruto and the Ninetales. The Ninetales became impressed with Sasuke's growth and ability, but as it stated that Sasuke's chakra was similar to Madara Uchiha, Sasuke effortlessly suppressed the fox's residual chakra with his Sharingan. Although angrily shocked by this display of power, the Ninetales concluded that this might be its last meeting with Sasuke, so it warned him not to kill Naruto because he would only end up regretting it. Akatsuki Suppression Mission During Naruto's nature transformation training, the Ninetales chakra was surfacing within some of his shadow clones that had grown very frustrated with combining the Rasengan with his wind element. Fortunately, Yamato was able to suppress the chakra before it could cause serious damage. Pain's Assault during Naruto's training at Mount Miyoboku, the Ninetales prevented Fukusaku from fusing with Naruto, making it impossible for him to mold Senjutsu Chakra for Naruto. Later, during Naruto's battle with Pain, he slipped into his six-tailed form right after Pain appeared to have killed Hinata Hyuga. Despite the necklace's attempts to suppress it, the Ninetales quickly seized the necklace and crushed it. When Naruto was soon contained by Pain's Chibaku Tensei technique, the Ninetales tempted Naruto to entrust his heart to it so he could destroy everything that was causing Naruto pain, thus distorting the seal to the point where the eight-tailed form was released. Before it could convince him to completely remove the seal, the spirit of Minato appeared in Naruto's subconscious and stopped him. Enraged, the Ninetales tried to dare Minato to come closer to it so he could rip him to shreds, but Minato simply ignored it and restored the seal to its original strength. During Naruto's conversation with Nagato, the Ninetales became angry with Nagato's words and its chakra began to leak out while Naruto was in sage mode, allowing the two forms to synchronize. Fourth Shinobi World War Countdown When Naruto was summoned back to Mount Miyoboku, the Great Toad Sage gave Naruto Gerotora, along with the key to the seal. From this, Naruto was on a task to find a way to control the Ninetales' power in order to fight a fated battle with Sasuke. Later, at a remote island in the Land of Lightning, after Naruto completed the first step at the Falls of Truth, Killer B then led Naruto to a special room within the secret temple behind the waterfall to prepare Naruto in fighting the Ninetales. When Naruto entered his subconscious, the Ninetales expressed surprise as it could no longer sense any hatred within him and questioned Naruto about where the real him was, to which Naruto replied that the real him was right in front of it. After Naruto used the key to unlock the seal, the Ninetales pushed the cage's doors and fired a tailed beast ball at him, but Killer B used the remaining bit of the Eight Tails' power to contain the attack. While in Sage Mode, Naruto was able to weaken the Ninetales with the wind release Rasen Shuriken and started to drain out its chakra. However, the Ninetales planted its hatred within its drained chakra and it suddenly began to consume Naruto, making him lose control and forcing him out of Sage Mode. Just before Naruto completely succumbed, the chakra imprint of his mother Kushina Uzumaki appeared, halted his transformation, and then used her adamantine sealing chains to subdue the Ninetales, to which the fox reacted in anger and shock when it recognized her chakra. After being comforted by Kushina, Naruto's positive emotions purged the Ninetales' hatred within its drained chakra. With Kushina holding the Ninetales at bay, Naruto quickly made a large number of Shadow Clones, entered Sage Mode, and bombarded the Ninetales with a combination of Sage Art and the Rasen Shuriken. Weakening the fox further and completely separating it from its large portion of Chakra. When its Chakra merged with Naruto, the emaciated Ninetales became so infuriated that it brashly attempted to fire a much larger tailed Beast Ball, but its attack was ultimately dissipated as Naruto used a new, stronger seal to imprison the fox once again. In this moment alone, the Ninetales, in great frustration and disbelief of its defeat to Naruto, frantically pondered just what he was. Fourth Shinobi World War Confrontation During Naruto's training to control the Ninetales chakra, the fox had been consuming a certain amount of Naruto's chakra while he was using its own, which recovered from its emaciated state. 
Later, as Naruto and Killer B continued their way towards the battlefield, the Ninetales pulled its Jinchuriki into his subconscious, berating him for squandering its chakra and calling him naive for thinking he could stop the war and bear the hatred by himself. When the Ninetales failed to once again tempt Naruto with power, the fox then went off to claim that his attempt to put an end to hatred was futile, using his history with Sasuke as proof. In retaliation, Naruto pinned the fox down, refuting that it was the one that was being naive. As Naruto exclaimed with great confidence that he would find a way to deal with Sasuke and end the war, the Ninetales, recalling his Jinchuriki's growth, condescendingly complimented him for finally learning how to stand up for himself before being unnerved by Naruto's promise to someday resolve the fox's own hatred. Fourth Shinobi World War, Climax Later, after the reincarnated Madara Uchiha was fighting against one of Naruto's shadow clones and the fourth division, he attempted to summon the Ninetales. Even though the summoning failed, the fox angrily recognized Madara's chakra calling for it and resolved to lend Naruto its chakra. Naruto at first thought it was going to attempt to take over his body like it used to, but the Ninetales explained that it would rather help Naruto than be manipulated by Madara again. As Killer B and the real Naruto were fighting against Tobi, the reincarnated Jinchuriki, the Ninetales proceeded to feign sleep while it purposefully stopped consuming Naruto's chakra, deciding to let its Jinchuriki fight on his own. The Ninetales refused to listen to the Eight Tails' request for its cooperation as the fox remembered what Madara, Hashirama, Mito, and Kushina had said to it in the past. Their words made it conclude that no matter how the human said it, it would always come down to the same thing, with the exception of Naruto, a thought which silenced it. The Nine Tails quietly watched on as Naruto was speaking with Son Goku, only expressing annoyance when its name was revealed to him. While thinking back on the events in Naruto's life and watching the proceeds, Kurama silently noted that Naruto of all people should know that no matter what he said to the tailed beasts, his true intentions would only reach them through his own actions. After Naruto successfully removed Tobi's control over Son Goku, Kurama silently celebrated the small victory and offered to lend him more of its chakra. Before accepting, however, Naruto thanked Kurama for its help during his encounter with Madara, which the flustered fox rebuffed him before offering to meld their chakra together. Naruto opened the seal's gate and acknowledged Kurama as his new teammate from Konoha. As a result, Kurama enabled Naruto to enter a new form in order to stop the other tailed beasts that were bearing down on Might Guy and Kakashi. However, as this was their first time transforming into this mode, Kurama warned Naruto that they only had 5 minutes. They first started by grabbing Chomei in mid-flight to pile drive it into Isobu, but it rolled out of the way to counterattack after Saiken quickly swallowed Kurama's hand prior to Giyuki joining the fray. When Maratabi attempted to pounce on Naruto and Kurama from behind, they fiercely swung Saiken right into the monster cat, throwing the two away to a distance. As the other tailed beasts gathered and performed a collaborative tailed beast ball, Naruto and Kurama performed one of their own and cancelled the attack. Right after that, Naruto entered a deeper level of Kurama's subconscious, where he meets the other five tailed beasts and their respective Jinchuriki, to which Kurama explains that this was somewhere that not even Tobi could enter. As it remembered the Sage of the Six Paths, Kurama asked his brethren if they too believed that Naruto was the one the Sage had spoken of so long ago to which they agreed before being resealed into the demonic statue of the Outer Path. While they were fighting against the demonic statue, Tobi summoned both the Benihisago and the Kohaku no Johei, which contained the reincarnated Gold and Silver Brothers, who possessed a portion of Kurama's chakra. Right after the masked man made the giant statue devour them, Kurama, who had sensed his own chakra signature within those two items, requested Naruto to switch with it so he could explain the situation to the others, as well as about the Ten Tails and what its revival would mean. Kurama also echoed Kakashi's words that something needed to be done before the Ten Tails revival was completed, after which, on Naruto's request, Kurama switched back with him. Kurama was later seen smiling when Naruto opposed Tobi's ideals and told him that he was who he was today because he had heroes to look up to and show him the way. After a brief fight, Tobi tried to instill doubt into Naruto by telling him what would Jiraiya and Minato say if he ended up neglecting the legacy they left him. Kurama, recalling what Minato said to Naruto during his battle with Nagato, requested Naruto to switch again, and directly told Tobi that Naruto would never follow his ideals and that Minato sealed it into Naruto so that he could defeat Tobi. After melding their chakra together once more, Naruto entered his tailed beast mode and Naruto began his assault on Tobi, after being assured by Kurama that he would not fail. As the battle raged on with Madara suddenly entering the fray, and the reincarnated Uchiha summoned Hashirama's giant wooden dragon in order to restrain Naruto. While Naruto instantly manifested Kurama's body to fight against it, the wooden dragon eventually managed to bind Naruto and started draining Kurama's chakra, forcing his tailed beast form to falter. 
However, Naruto was able to quickly escape from its coils before it could absorb any more of Kurama's chakra, and created a shadow clone to protect Kakashi from Obito. When Kurama noticed Kakashi was low on chakra, it told Naruto to switch places with it, and through Naruto's body, tossed Kakashi at Obito, who used Kamui to absorb him into Kamui's dimension. Despite Naruto initially berating it for what it did, Kurama assured him that he could now fight without worry. Naruto attacked Obito again and phased through him, but surprisingly Obito coughed up blood. Kurama revealed that it transferred some of its chakra into Kakashi, allowing him to attack Obito in the other world and come back to the real world with Kamui. Meanwhile, the original Naruto entered the full tailed beast mode to create a giant tailed beast ball with B and Gyuki and fired it at the demonic statue. This was all done in vain, however, as after the resulting explosion, the Ten Tails had been revived. Naruto and the others quickly regroup while Kurama restored Kakashi and Gai's respective chakra, but the Ten Tails, under the control of Obito and Madara, quickly overwhelmed them before they could finish devising a strategy. Kurama and Gyuki then fired a barrage of tailed beast balls at the Ten Tails, who easily deflected them with a single blast of its own. Kurama and Naruto were able to withstand the attack, losing six of its tails in exchange, and threw Kakashi and Naruto's Sage Mode Shadow Clone above the Ten Tails, where Kakashi teleported Yuki, who prepared to launch a tailed beast ball at the beast's blind spot. However, the Ten Tails simply flicked the attack back at Gyuki, leaving Naruto's Shadow Clone and Kakashi open for an attack. Kurama and Naruto were able to rescue Kakashi, Gyuki, and B before the tailed beast mode was deactivated, which Kurama noted to Naruto that it needed time to generate more chakra. Later, echoing Hinata's sentiments that Naruto's life was not his own, the fox reminded him that it was also here that his parents had died in a similar manner to protect him. After the words finally get through to the young shinobi, Naruto once again entered tailed beast mode, and with Kurama's instruction, created shadow clones to distribute chakra to the remaining shinobi to help empower their respective abilities. Kurama then silently praised Naruto's ability to distribute his chakra to others despite how different they were. The fox noted that Naruto had surpassed his father and mother. Continuing their attack on the Ten Tails, Kurama warned Naruto that the Ten Tails was continuing to mature and to be more careful about micromanaging all of the chakra he had given his allies, as it was exhausting him. Kurama also warned Naruto that the Ten Tails was preparing for its devastating attack, the Ten Penshi. After the attack injured Naruto and drained him of all Kurama's chakra, the fox proceeded to gather more chakra to prepare for another assault. After the reincarnated Hokage's arrival, Kurama was suddenly startled by Minato's use of its chakra. Naruto boasted about Minato's ability with the fox's chakra only for Kurama to point out that it already knew about Minato's skill, given he was the one to use such a complex technique to seal it into Naruto. Later, when Naruto's mantle disappeared and the young shinobi requested the fox to supply him with more chakra, Kurama advised him that he should stay in his normal form a bit longer if he wanted to enter tailed beast mode. Birth of the Ten Tails Jinchuriki Meanwhile, as their battle strategy unfolded, Kurama's yin half within Minato noted that Naruto's actions and speech about his father was touching enough to move this half of it. Yin Kurama also told Minato to disregard Obito's words as he was not responsible for any of those tragedies and that instead of leaving his son to do it, he should also act. Later, when Naruto and Minato bumped fists, Yin and Yang Kurama came in contact with each other, with Yang Kurama greeting its other half casually and asking it to share its chakra, which led Yin Kurama to note that asking itself for chakra was an odd situation. Nonetheless, when the father-son duo prepared to deal with Obito, the two halves of Kurama also bumped fists as they prepared to initiate their strategy. As their chakra began to meld, the two halves conversed about Minato and Naruto, leading Yin Kurama to comment that Naruto must have had some upbringing to treat a tailed beast as a comrade. As Naruto donned the tailed beast shroud and prepared to attack Obito, only to be reminded that only senjutsu-based attacks would work, Yang Kurama reminded Naruto of the time during Pain's invasion that the two modes had been combined, and noted that while he had resented Naruto's use of another power instead of its own, it would allow him to use Sage Mode while also using its own power. Yin Kurama advised Minato to follow suit so that he could provide powerful support for his son. With this, both shinobi, shrouded in Kurama's form, created a giant senjutsu-enhanced Rasengan and were teleported to Obito's location by Tobirama. However, the Uchiha anticipated the attack and was able to deflect it. Reassessing their strategy to destroy the mysterious black substance, Naruto and Minato formed a senjutsu-enhanced tailed beast ball, but Obito quickly created a full-blown replica of the Ten Tails tree form, and its roots started chasing and absorbing chakra from anyone in its path. As the allied shinobi forces began to despair, Naruto, through Ino Yamanaka's telepathy, conveyed his memories and feelings to them, restoring their resolve to fight. After Yun Kurama transferred a majority of its chakra to its yang half, Naruto joined Sasuke in their team assault against Obito. 
with a Senjutsu Enhanced Tail Beast Ball, as well as Sasuke firing a Senjutsu Enhanced Arrow with his Susano Bow, they cracked the sphere Obito had wrapped around himself as he pushed forward. The battle continued, resulting in Sasuke's Susano and Naruto's tailed beast mode being destroyed. However, Sasuke and Naruto got up to their feet again, their resolves untouched, and Sasuke then manifested his final Susano to encase Naruto's tailed beast mode mantle. Using the telepathic link, Naruto called for his comrades, who rallied to his side, all donning tailed beast mode mantles as they entered Kurama's tails. Using the Rasengan Naruto had created, they all attacked and broke through Obito's shield, allowing Naruto and Sasuke to deliver a devastating blow against Obito, and forcing all the chakra out of the tailed beasts. Through the combined effort of the allied shinobi forces, all of the sealed tailed beasts were extracted from Obito's body, reducing the ten tails within him back to its empty shell. As Naruto and the rest of the allied shinobi forces went to aid Hashirama against Madara, Yin Kurama explained to Minato, who was tending to the defeated Obito, that he was not in mortal danger from the extraction as the demonic statue of the Outer Path was still filled with great amounts of life energy, but rendered immobilized for a while. Naruto and Yang Kurama re-entered Tailed Beast mode to join the other Tailed Beasts in assaulting Madara, but the Uchiha survived their attacks and retreated to a safe distance. After he received his own right Rinnegan Eye from a white Zetsu clone, Madara quickly summoned the demonic statue of the Outer Path from Obito's body and used the Rinnegan to repel the Tailed Beasts. With the Tailed Beasts stunned, Madara then proceeded to chain them up and prepared to remove Yang Kurama and Gyuki from their Jinchuriki. As Naruto failed to cancel the Tailed Beast mode, Yang Kurama contacted Gara to transfer its Yin half from Minato to save Naruto, wishing him luck before it was extracted and sealed within the statue along with the other Tailed Beasts. Unfortunately, Black Zetsu put himself between Naruto and Minato just as the latter was transferring Yin Kurama, becoming its Jinchuriki in the process. As Madara, now the Ten Tails Jinchuriki arrived, Black Zetsu attempted to return to the Uchiha with his left Rinnegan Eye and Yin Kurama, only for Obito to overpower Black Zetsu and maintain their merger. Having decided to help the allied forces stop Madara, Obito worked with Kakashi to teleport Naruto to Kamui's dimension and soon joined him. Once there, Obito proceeded to transfer Yin Kurama into Naruto. Within Naruto's subconscious, as he spoke to the spirit of Hagoromo, Yin Kurama, along with the chakra portions of the other tailed beasts, including Gyuki and Shukaku, which Obito stole from Madara and also sealed inside Naruto, manifested to join the meeting. They voiced their continued trust in the sage and their belief that Naruto was the child of prophecy. Later, after Naruto returned to the battlefield, Madara managed to regain both his eyes. He then proceeded to perform the Chubaku Tensei to set up for the infinite Tsukiyomi. Yin Kurama then lent Naruto chakra for him to use the tailed beast ball Rasen Shuriken against the Chibaku Tensei satellites. Kaguya Otsotsuki Strikes Later, Madara's ambitions were cut short by Black Zetsu, who revealed himself in fact to be the manifestation of Kaguya Otsotsuki's will. Then it used Madara's body as a medium to resurrect its true creator. After Kaguya managed to trap Sasuke in a separate dimension, Yin Kurama granted Naruto more chakra, letting him create a massive army of shadow clones. Yin Kurama, alongside the chakra portions of its brethren, helped Naruto create an onslaught of Rasen Shuriken that does a significant blow against Kaguya. After reacting to the chakra, Yang Kurama and the other tailed beasts within Kaguya tried to escape, but caused Kaguya to morph into a rabbit form with a gigantic blob of the tailed beasts. After Kaguya was touched by Naruto and Sasuke's seals, Yang Kurama and the other tailed beasts were extracted from Kaguya as she was sealed away. After escaping, Sangoku praised Naruto's efforts, causing Yang Kurama to grin. The tailed beasts then ran away from the new moon and joined the rest of Team 7. When Naruto escaped them, he and Sakura were both shocked by the fact that they couldn't escape the dimension, causing San to state that Naruto was still a bit dumb, making Yang Kurama grin. However, Hagoromo, who called upon the souls of all the previous Kage, performed a massive summoning alongside the reincarnated Hokage in order to return the Tailed Beasts, Team 7, and Madara's body back to the real world. Having returned to the real world, Naruto, happy to see Yang Kurama again, asked it if he missed him, which led the flustered fox to comically deny his claim, much to San's entertainment. After the past Kage returned to the afterlife, plans for the future were discussed, to which the Tailed Beasts expressed their joy at finally being free. As Yang Kurama was surprised to hear Gyuki's wish to return to B, Hagoromo insisted the fox to return within Naruto to watch over the young ninja, who has become an important part of the Tailed Beast's experience. While Yang Kurama accepted Hagoromo's request, Sasuke made his own intentions known, removing as many people as possible who could get in the way of his own plans of leading the world through a revolution to do away with current shinobi systems, including killing all the current Kage and Tailed Beasts. 
Just as Sasuke swiftly subdued the tailed beast with his Rinnegan and sealed them away with his Chibaku Tensei, Naruto reassured Yankurama that he would save them once again. Soon after, Naruto and Sasuke finally have their long-awaited confrontation, ultimately leaving both ninja battered and exhausted. Yin Kurama attempted to help Naruto by accumulating a little extra chakra for him, but it got absorbed by Sasuke. As it recalled Yang Kurama's memories of Naruto's determination to save both Sasuke and Kurama, Yin Kurama applauded Naruto for countering Sasuke's Chidori, and noted that transferring the last of its chakra would put itself to sleep. After the battle, where Sasuke declared Naruto the victor, the two dispelled the infinite Tsukiyomi, and Sasuke released the tailed beasts from their prisons. Yang Kurama would then return to Naruto and merge with its yin half, finally restored into a complete state. The last, Naruto the movie. When Naruto and his team saw the giant golem emerging from beneath Toneryo Tsutsuki's castle within the moon, he activated his Ninetales chakra mode and summoned Kurama outside his body. During the fight, Kurama was initially overwhelmed by its opponent, but eventually the fox was able to blast the golem away into space with a tailed beast ball. Kurama then later wrote the mission complete symbol on the moon's crater so everyone on Earth knew they succeeded in their mission, but the fox complained to Naruto that its penmanship was terrible. Sasuke's Shinden, Book of Sunrise When the Genjutsu-controlled missing shinobi were attacking Konoha, Kurama assisted Naruto by infusing his chakra into his Rasengan Flash to repel them. New Era Years later, on the day that Naruto was to be inaugurated as the 7th Hokage, Kurama was knocked out along with Naruto when Hibawari, having awakened her Byakugan, hit Naruto's Tenketsu by accident while aiming at Boruto, due to his role in a tug-of-war that ripped off her stuffed toy. This caused both Naruto and Kurama to develop a strong fear of Himawari, even when she's her usual happy and sweet self. Sarada Uchiha Arc When Naruto went to meet with Sasuke about a mysterious young Uchiha, Naruto discovered that said boy attacking Sarada Uchiha was Chocho Akimichi. As Naruto intervened and entered his Ninetales chakra mode, Kurama noted its excitement about being able to battle again after so long. However, Kurama's hopes were dashed as the mysterious boy retreated. Later, as the boy, along with his father, battled Naruto and Sasuke, Kurama criticizes Jinchuriki for being careless, commenting on how easily he was stabbed by his enemy's technique. Later, during the final battle with Shin, Naruto brought one of Shin's clones into his subconscious with Kurama, glaring down at the boy, scaring him and his clones to surrender. Naruto Shinden, Parent and Child Day when the release of a popular but limited edition doll modeled after Kurama came out, Himawari was eager to get one for herself. While Naruto decided to help his daughter get one, Kurama was openly unsatisfied at the childish design of his likeness. In addition to Naruto mistaking a Shukaku doll for it, Kurama's mood turned sour and was unwilling to help Naruto catch a thief who stole a Kurama doll from him, citing that Naruto wouldn't be a very good father if he couldn't help his daughter using his own power, a sentiment Naruto agreed with. Later, a grumpy Kurama responded with a pout when Naruto told Himawari that the Shukaku doll was cuter than a Kurama doll. Versus Momoshiki Arc after they defeated Killer B and absorbed a lot of Gyuki's chakra from him, Momoshiki and Kinshiki Otsotsuki decided to capture Naruto with the intent of extracting Kurama's chakra for their own use. They soon arrived at the arena where the Chunin exams were held and proceeded to attack, creating chaos. As Momoshiki created an amplified tailed beast ball to obliterate everyone, Naruto entered tailed beast mode in order to stop the attack, and warned Kurama that it better not have gotten out of shape, to which Kurama refuted and declared that it was going with all the power it had stored up. Ultimately, though Naruto stopped the attack, he allowed himself to be taken. Brought to another dimension, Naruto stubbornly resisted Momoshiki's attempt to effectively extract Kurama's chakra from him, as the other four Kage, Sasuke, and Naruto's son, Boruto, managed to arrive in the dimension and free him from his bounds. Naruto soon combined his tailed beast mode with Sasuke's Susano, gaining the upper hand against the empowered Momoshiki. One Tail Escort Arc in the anime, when Urashiki Otsutsuki began targeting Shukaku for its chakra, the Tanuki agreed to be temporarily sealed in a small tea kettle and escorted to Konoha. While under Naruto's protection, Kurama, smug as ever towards Shukaku, laughed at how Himawari was treating the Tanuki as a pet slash toy. Kurama and Naruto later had a telepathic meeting with the other tailed beasts through Matatabi, though Matatabi, Kokuo, and Chomei decided not to participate and talked about their protection. Shukaku, vowing to get back at the fox for teasing it, was intrigued to learn that Himawari once knocked out Kurama and decided to play nice with the young girl in hopes of learning how she did it as a chance to have some mocking rights on the fox. 
it was later revealed that Kurama was aware of the Tanuki's plan. After a few days, Kurama and Shukaku bonded over how spending time with Naruto's family drove them crazy, and that they were never boring to be around. As Shukaku figured out that Kurama had grown attached to them, the Tanuki teased the fox, to which it quickly rebuffed such an accusation. Time Slip Arc in the anime, Urashiki Otsutsuki decided that the best course of stealing Kurama's chakra was to use Karasuki to time travel to the past and attack Naruto when he was too weak and inexperienced to fight back. He arrived in the time period shortly after Sasuke's defection from Konoha. When failing to steal past Naruto's chakra due to the seal on him, Urashiki entered into Naruto's subconscious to forcibly remove it. Once finding Kurama's domain, the fox demanded to know what his intentions were. Shortly after he replied he was taking back its chakra, the angered Kurama used its power to reject Urashiki from Naruto's subconscious and subsequently burned the intruder's hand. The outburst also forced Naruto to enter his version 1 state. Ultimately, Jiraiya was forced to use an extra seal to subdue Naruto back to normal. Kawaki Arc While Naruto was sleeping, Kurama manifested its head from his body to warn Kawaki against wandering off from Naruto. While shocked, Kawaki remained composed enough for Kurama to explain its role in watching over him, and corrected certain misconceptions Kawaki had about Naruto, explaining the various hardships he had to overcome. Moved by the story, Kawaki wondered if he could become someone like Naruto, to which Kurama believed that it would be all up to him, before directing him to go to sleep. Later, using the connection between his and Kawaki's Kama, Jigen teleported to Naruto's house instantly to bring back Kawaki. When Jigen subdued Naruto with black chakra draining rods, Kurama immediately chastised him for shaming the Hokage title, causing Naruto to playfully retort to the fox as he activated Six Paths Sage Mode. Jigen then soon teleported himself and Naruto to another dimension and attempted to strand him there, but Sasuke arrived and stopped him. Despite their best efforts, Kurama, Naruto, and Sasuke were swiftly overwhelmed and subdued by Jigen, who was later revealed to be possessed by Ishiki Otsutsuki. When Ishiki was going to kill Sasuke, Naruto managed to hold Ishiki off with his shadow clones while Sasuke escaped with his Rinnegan. As Naruto continued to taunt Ishiki, Kurama quickly told him off, stating that from the beginning Ishiki never had any intentions to kill him, but could just as easily change his mind and slaughter them both, to which the Otsutsuki commended the fox before sealing them away in a giant coffin. The seal was then put under safeguard by Boro. Determined to save them, Team 7 and Kawaki later used the power of Kawaki and Boruto's Kama to enter the dimension. While struggling to fight against Boro, Boruto and Kawaki used their Kama to create a rift in the seal, freeing the unconscious Naruto. After the team defeated Boro and returned to Konoha with Naruto, they were all taken to the hospital for treatment, with Naruto making a swift recovery. Later, after Boruto teleported the resurrected Ishiki and himself to a separate dimension, Kurama, Naruto, and Sasuke managed to join Boruto for their second confrontation against Ishiki. However, the Otsutsuki once again proved too powerful as he knocked out Sasuke and blocked Naruto's sensory abilities by manifesting giant black cubes, a fact that Kurama noticed. Seeing how determined Naruto was to stop Ishiki, even if it cost him his own life, Kurama suggested using a form of last resort that would almost certainly result in his death. Naruto agreed to it, declaring that the moment he decided to become Hokage, he knew the risks and was prepared to die. Naruto took on a new form even more reminiscent of Kurama. Did you enjoy our video? Make sure to check out these other great videos from the Amagi and make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.